All right, guys, now you probably already know what's gonna happen since we are in my bathroom and I have a motherboard on hands and since I'm watching PS2s. Uh, so yeah, this motherboard is broken. We are trying to fix it. Let's get right into it with some hot water, um, a toothbrusher and some soap, all right? Let's get the soap going. There we go. And now we're gonna keep the CPU in here uh, and then remove it afterwards. And now you wanna scrub pretty much the whole board and the back as well. The back is especially important because uh, like sometimes in, you know, there's some thermal paste, there's some oxidation and this will help remove it. Also just leaving it uh, right down in the water is gonna help quite a bit um, and you can also leave it uh, like an hour or two hours uh, right here and then again pay special attention to the back plate so as you can see we want to just scrub it all the way through Then what I like to do is once I'm, you know, done with the scrubbing, which we will do more later on, um, I simply do, I basically take the board, I place it on the water and then I press it down so that the water goes all over the holes in the motherboard and I do it for a couple of times. I find this really helps um, also if, if you're doing this with alcohol and not with water, uh, this really is a game changer and also you want to do that on the other side. So here we are. Now, you probably cannot tell by the video, but the water is getting darker. So this means that it was real dirty and it's probably why, part of the reasons why uh, this motherboard wasn't working is because of the dirt. So this is it. Now we're just gonna scrub a bit more on the VRMs and close to the BIOS chip, because those are the you know, places which are most likely to fail. Now, as you can see, it was definitely dirty. And at this point, uh, what I like to do is to quite simply take off the CPU, all right? So we will do just that. Okay. And now we will paste the, the, the CPU alone and then let some water go over the pins. And now we're gonna leave it like that for a while. Okay, now watering everything down is the easy step, but the hard step is to actually, uh, you know, have it dry up. Now we have a couple options, all right? We could uh, quite simply use a hair dryer or a heat gun, uh, but you know, that would still like take a while and you'd have to leave the motherboard um, for a while afterwards. So what I recommend doing is actually using a heater like that one. You know, just place it over the heater and that's gonna be it. Now we're gonna do just that. Okay, now this is the situation pretty much. We just placed it in that way over the heater and then we will flip it uh, in all four of the ways in which we can flip it. And this is gonna be it for the motherboard. 
We also place the CPU on another dryer and yes, just gonna give it some time and it's gonna be perfectly, perfectly um, dry. So yeah.